Hello, this is Marina. Today we're going to look at what a narcissist does when you catch them cheating. Now, this of course is going to depend many variables here in place, but let's just say that the narcissist is actually caught red-handed. It's not unusual for them to deny it. Yep, that's right. They just outright deny it. They just say that it didn't happen. Um, they can ghost you. They can say sorry. They may even start crying because they want to show you how desperate they are and they are using the pity play. Sometimes you'll get flowers. Sometimes you'll get your best home cooked meal. If they don't get along that well with your family or friends, you might find that they go out of their way to really make an effort in that area. When you catch the narcissist cheating and you demand that you have access to their phone, they will willingly give that to you, but only for a short time. And if they do let you do it all the time, then they possibly may have gone and gotten a, you know, a new phone without you realizing. Now, this isn't to say that people who have affairs uh, can't change because they certainly can. And we know that this can happen. However, when we're talking about narcissist cheating, it's usually a repeated cycle, meaning that there's always something going on, whether they're, you know, have different accounts on social media, whether they're talking to different people, whether different names pop up every now and then. With a narcissist, it's always about triangulation and it's putting you in competition. So when you catch a narcissist cheating, there's a range of things that can go on. By the way, they can also ghost you. Now, even if you're married to them or in a very long term relationship, and if all of a sudden all these different things start coming out about what they've been doing, either that, you know, betrayal with money, betrayal with another uh, woman, with another man, they may leave you because they've planned it that way. Not unusual for people to be in, I mean, long term relationships, like even 30 years, and then all of a sudden um, someone will just get up and they found someone else. So what we need to know is that for the narcissist, and as I said to you, this is not someone who has had an affair, you know, like once possibly within the relationship. These are ongoing patterns, ongoing. And, you know, even if there isn't an actual a physical or sexual affair going on, there's lots of triangulation, there's lots of games, and you're forever feeling that you're in competition. So the narcissist will do a number of things. Also, they will use word salad. Word salad is when they start scrambling with our brain. So they will start talking about, you know, yeah, I knew that it wasn't going to be right. You know, when we went to see the opera two years ago, it was always there. You know, it wasn't so much that I ever thought that, uh, you know, you would ever commit to me. So all of a sudden, word salad's being thrown in and we are deflecting away from their behavior, from the fact that they have done something horrific, lied, possibly again and again. So there's lots of things that a narcissist will do, but what you need to know is that it will, um, uh, it will muddle with your head. The other thing that a narcissist will also do is that they will uh, blame you. Mm. Well, what about what you did? Or how do I know you're not having an affair? How do I know you haven't been doing things behind my back? Ah, we've flipped it. Anything to take the attention away from them. All right, if you've got anything else that you want to tell me about, you know, experiences you've had, please let me know. And bye for now.